Veteran Lancaster bomber G for George lands at B for Brisbane in a D for dust storm. But what's a dust storm to G for George? Storms of hot metal when the flak was furious over Berlin are nothing new to this famous Lancaster. Yes, G for George is an old war horse of the skies. And the nearer you get, the bigger he looks. The phenomenal one was G for George, the Lancaster bomber that had flown some 80 missions, uh, over 80 missions in, in Europe. Each bomb sign on the fuselage represents a combat mission. G for George spent a lot of time over G for Germany. It was erected in the newly built Anzac Hall after a lot of restoration work over, a, I believe, a couple of years. A stunning reenactment of that, of what a bombing run for the crew involved, using the voices, the original recorded voices from the cockpit. Bomb doors open. Right, steady, hold it. The sounds of the bombing, the sounds of the air assault by fighters, uh, the anti aircraft fire, the flak. <laughs> All of that in 10 minutes to compress it into something that graphic. Um, it was one of the first really big forays into this use of object theatre. The other very new treatment was given to us by Peter Jackson, the uh, celebrated filmmaker. Once again, spectators who are there are in the air with the pilots. They're experiencing the whole onslaught of, uh, of aerial dogfights of, of that war at its highest pitch of intensity. 